Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the most common iPhone issues that users have that actually will make their life harder while using their iPhone on a daily basis. Of course, there are a lot of problems always with devices, but there are some problems that are really annoying and you might want to fix them on your device. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 of those and of course also 10 solutions on how to fix some of the most common iPhone problems for iPhone users. First off, we're talking about the battery, which is of course really important. I've seen a lot of users complain that their iPhone is not charging over 80%. Now, if you're a, like a dedicated user, you know your stuff, you probably know why this is happening. But if you're just some regular user that actually don't care a lot about knowing a lot about iOS, you probably don't know the solution to this problem. And it's actually very simple and there's a reason why that is happening. So what you need to do is head on to battery under settings and then go to battery health and charging. Now, what you have here is optimized battery charging. That's what is stopping your iPhone phone to charge over 80%. Now, of course, the solution is just to turn it off and it will allow your iPhone to charge over 80%. Now, this is how this feature works. Basically, optimized battery charging will intentionally stop your iPhone from charging to 100% during the day. If you keep it plugged in during the night, it will charge at 80% around the time when you want to wake up, it will charge it to 100%. But if you just need that extra 20% and you want to charge to 100% even during the day make sure you just go ahead and turn this off and my suggestion is that you use this feature right here turn it off until tomorrow so you do your thing you charge your iphone then tomorrow this feature will be back on automatically because this is a really important feature and in the long run will help the battery health of your device a lot next up we're talking about siri so if you use siri sometimes it's actually really annoying to talk to siri maybe when you're in public or get spoken responses from Siri. Well, here's what you can do. Head on to settings, go to Siri and search, and then you will have here Siri responses. Now we have here a newer feature that Apple has released called Prefer Silent Responses. Now if you choose that, then Siri will actually give you a silent response. It will give you a spoken response only when you're driving or using your headphones. Other times you will get a silent response. Or if you just don't want to actually even just talk to Siri at all, you can just type to Siri and you can do that by going under accessibility and then find Siri here. And then you will have the option here to turn on type to Siri. That will fix that. You, you don't have to talk to Siri anymore. You can just go ahead, enable that. And once you launch Siri, all you have to do is type anything you want. Now, here's a really common one. You head on to your iMessage app and the only thing you will see is your messages. But you see that other people might have different folders there and even a recently deleted folder. But you don't have that. All you have here are your messages. Here's how you fix this. Head on to settings, go under messages and then scroll down here and find filter unknown senders. Once you have this enabled, Head on back to the iMessage app and then, then you will have filters there. So you tap on filters and you go back and here you will have your menu. So you will have all of your messages, known senders, unknown senders and unread messages as well. So everything will be separated there. You will even have here your recently deleted messages from where of course you can go ahead and delete the messages completely. They will stay there for 30 days if you don't delete them manually from this folder as well. Or of course, if you want to recover any message, you will find that there. Next up are the camera settings. So you go to your camera, you will have your settings changed basically. Live photo may be turning on and off. It just goes to different camera modes. You open, it doesn't go to photo straight, it goes to video. That's a problem, of course, with the settings of the camera and how you have them configured. Now to fix this and of course, configure them how you prefer, you, all you have to do is head on to settings, go to camera, and then right here, you will find your camera settings and you will find a section that says preserve settings. Now, these are the settings that you can enable or disable to set up the camera app the way you want. So first of all, we have camera mode. Mode. So if you enable this, the last camera mode you were using, that's what gonna, what's going to pop up once you open the camera app. So if I was recording a video, close the app, I go back there, it will take me to video and not to the default 
photo mode so of course that with that enabled then you will have the creative controls that as well will be preserved and you have here night mode as well portrait zoom live photo and action mode as well so pretty much any camera settings can be preserved so if you always want to have live photo on you enable this but if you don't want to have live photos on disable this and then of course you will have it disabled all the time but if you want to use it at some time you can just tap on it right there and right here can enable or disable the live camera mode so anything you want to preserve you can do that from here next up we're talking about the screen of the iphone of course nowadays the iphones are bigger and the iphone max is the 14 pro max is of course quite big and if you have small hands you will probably have problems with reaching the top of your screen well you can enable reachability for that so all you have to do then is just swipe here so to enable that head on to settings go to under accessibility right here and then go to touch and right here you will find reachability you go ahead and enable this feature and then anytime you want to reach something at the top if you're using your iphone with one hand you can just swipe here at the button basically at the home bar here just like that and of course swipe up if you just want to move the screen up next up we're talking about the brightness of the device now of course the iphone will allow to manually adjust the brightness of your device you can do that automatically or manually but sometimes for some users even the lowest brightness settings are not enough so they want to make the screen even darker well to fix that all you have to do is head on to settings go under accessibility go to display and text size right here scroll all the way down and you will have here reduce white point this will let you set the brightness even lower than it actually is so just set it at 100 percent and you can even bring down the brightness all the way down and you will have a really really dark screen on your iphone now here's a really annoying thing about ios you head onto your control center and you will have this stuff right here this is the section for the home app now of course you can configure a control center but for some reason apple doesn't allow it to remove the home app part right here and it's actually really annoying it looks ugly and it will take a lot of space and if you don't use it it's actually useless so if we go right here into settings and go to control center you will see that there's actually no option to remove home from the control center what you have to do here again if you don't need the home app just make sure you go ahead and find the home app you can actually remove it from your device even though it's a default app of ios delete the app completely just like that and now your control center will actually look much much better next up we're talking about phone calls now with ios 15 i believe apple introduced the new banners for the incoming call so you get a call you will get a banner just like a notification at the top there but the problem with that is that you will have to reach at the top to answer your phone call and if you're using your iphone with one hand that will be kind of tricky some users will prefer to have the old style back well you can actually get that because with that you get the buttons right here at the bottom and you can decline or answer a call pretty quickly so what you need to do head on to your settings go under phone and go to incoming calls right there and you will have banner or full screen if you choose full screen then you will get the old style when you get a phone call you get the buttons right here next up we're talking about notes and checklists that you create on your notes app so if you create a checklist you will have a bunch of items there you check something you will have an unchecked one in the middle of those checked ones and it's just a mess well you can fix that problem pretty easily head on to your settings go under notes and right here you will find sort checked items make sure you choose automatically so anytime you check something on your checklist it will just move it at the bottom and you will have all the unchecked items at the top of your note that way you cannot miss anything and it actually looks way better and last but not least is moving apps now when you're trying to move an app of course you will drag it like this and place it at the corner here sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you'll have to wait until the page moves and all that you can do that much much easier here's the right way to actually move apps between different home pages so you select an app and of course you can even select multiple of apps and from here all you have to do is just move like that to just actually move between home pages all you have to do again just swipe like this keep the apps in the same place swipe like this release the apps and you're good to go 
So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some of the most common iPhone issues that iPhone users will have on a daily basis. And of course, 10 solutions on how to actually solve these problems. So that is it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.